Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. This is Keegan with Liquid and we're going to be talking about how to get set up so that you can actually receive payments through your Shopify account. So as you can see, I'm logged into the back end of my Shopify account. I use my username and password to log in and I'm at the home screen. The first place that we need to go is down here in the bottom left, click on settings, then click on over here in the payments section. In the payments section, you'll have the option to accept credit cards. Now you can accept credit cards, you can accept PayPal, if you have a PayPal account, Amazon Pay, or choose from alternative methods of payment, such as payment on delivery or other methods that you see listed here. Now, for, for most people, the best way to do this is going to be to accept credit cards. And the easiest way to do that is to select Shopify Payments. Now, Shopify Payments is powered by Stripe, and the rates are selected based on your level of uh, platform choice from Shopify. So you'll see right here, I'm on the $29 a month plan with Shopify, and my payment rate is 2.9% plus 30 cents for all card types. So I'm gonna click on Shopify Payments and continue. And now it's going to have the little option here for me to complete account setup. One thing to note is if you do want to just test your checkout, you can set up Shopify payments and click this little button to put your checkout in test mode. And we have really simple, easy to use test credit cards uh, available on the blog on liquidretailer.com. And you can use those credit cards to to just put test transactions through the system without actually charging anybody's rate, charging anybody's card, excuse me. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to choose complete account setup. And this is gonna lead me into a form that I need to fill out with information about my business in order to get paid through my Shopify account. So the first thing you'll do is select the type of organization that you have. So if it's an individual sole proprietorship, an LLC, partnership, or if you're a corporation like an S Corp or a C Corp. Uh, for now, I'm gonna leave it as individual sole proprietorship. And this is where you'll put in your tax uh, employer identification number. So it's a nine digit number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can put in a, your appropriate employer identification number there. Then you'll put in your business address. I'll leave this at the default of our, our North Carolina office. Um, and then you put in the, your uh, date of birth. So I'm just gonna make something up here for sensitive information. So let's just put uh, 1975 and put the month, January 1st. And the day, first day of the month. And then the last four digits of the social security number. Now this is important because Shopify has to know who's getting paid and who's authorized on the system to receive payment. So again, I'll just put four numbers here, but you'll put in the last four of social security. Then you select your average order price. So if you're expecting orders between zero and $10 or 10 to a thousand or more than a thousand dollars for most of our retailers, 10 to a thousand dollars is going to be correct. And then you select your average shipping time for your products. And again, most of us are going to deliver or ship products in the zero to six day window. A brief description of your products or services. So I'm just gonna put um, pet food, pet treats, other miscellaneous pet products. And then you, you can select your descriptor, descriptor. So you'll see here this Shopify domain is Keegan's Critters. That's what's going to appear on the credit card statement of my customers when they buy through this. So I'm going to, I can leave this as Keegan's Critters, or if you have a, you know, a default name in here, you can change it to Keegan's Pet Store, whatever is going to be a good way, descriptive way, descriptive way for your customers to see um, and make sure they know who they're ordering from. And then of course you'll want your phone number in there too. So if there's any disputed or, or problematic transaction, transactions, Make sure there's a good number for them to call and be able to reach, whether that's you as a store owner, um, your billing department, or an accountant or bookkeeper that you have uh, on staff. Last step is to put in your bank routing uh, number and your account number. And it gives you the little note here where you can find that on your checks or you can find it through your, by calling your bank or going into your um, online banking account to find those numbers. You'll put in your routing number and your account number. And then all you have to do is click 
this blue complete setup, it'll save your information and your Shopify site will be ready to accept payment. Now, I'm going to discard this for now, obviously, because that was just made up information. And I'm going to go back to the payments section and, and just touch on one important thing to note. When you do set up your payments, you'll have an option to select the way that, that payments are captured. So I'm, I'm back here in that settings payment section and I scroll down here and there's two options. I have to manually capture payments, which means when somebody checks out on my site, the site will authorize their credit card to be charged, but it won't actually charge their card. And you may want to do that if you need to check the orders or if you don't have your inventory tied into the site, it could be a good helpful way to make sure that you have things in stock or you're not dealing with a fraudulent order before you actually capture payment. And you can check this box to have them send you a warning email because those authoriz authorizations only last for a few business days um, to, to send you a warning if it's going to expire to where even though it's authorized, you can't capture the payment anymore. Or you can select to automatically capture payments, that, which means when somebody checks out on the site, it authorizes the card to be charged and automatically captures uh, the payments right away. You can choose whichever method you'd prefer. You click Save and your site will be set up that way. Um, thanks very much for tuning in this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at Liquid. And I'll just leave you here. Our website is liquidretailer.com. Our blog has all sorts of helpful information about uh, how to get started with, with e-commerce. And then on the contact page, you'll see a nice contact form, a contact email, and then our R800 number here. So thanks very much for joining us, and uh, we look forward to the opportunity to work with you.